Hey YouTube, today we're going to be discussing the iOS 5 Apple's been talking about and partially released. See, they released a beta to the developers that you got to pay a hundred dollars a year to have. See, and a developer can add a hundred people on his list that can like get betas and stuff. And what people have gone around doing is buying a developer's account for $100. See, sometimes they buy multiple ones. And then they sell their 100 activation spots to different people for like $4. So they make bank. Like, like if you sold at $7 per activation code, you would get about $600 in profit. Because you would buy the developer's account for $100. And then you would get $7 for each one which is times 100, which is 700, minus 100, which is 600. And I've kind of, I found a good deal from someone, and it was four bucks. Yeah, I'm going to have his link in the description. You're going to have, you're going to have to have PayPal, or a debit card, or a credit card near you to use. He does not give out free activations but I definitely think it's worth it I upgraded from a 4.3.2 jailbroken iPhone 4 and I so far think it's so much better so let's go over the attributes first off right from the get-go I want to show you that I do have iOS 5 so let me go to this Oh, uh, you cannot see that at all. I guess you can kind of tell that's not a 4. But you should just believe me. Right off the bat, let's start out with my favorite one. The Notification Center. I do not have any missed calls or missed texts right now. But what you do, you pull down from the clock in the status bar. In the middle of the status bar. And the weather and the stock market come up. You can kind of scroll. And then below or above it, I think you can change it in settings. Your missed calls and missed texts come up. And whenever you get a text on your iPhone, it comes up on the very top. It kind of flips the page. The top, maybe about mm, two-thirds of an inch. No, probably about one-third of an inch at the very top. And it kind of shows to text and kind of like three words from like what they text. Another feature is custom vibration. So to do this, go to settings, then you go to general, then you go to accessibility. And then you scroll down to hearing, and you turn custom vibrations off. I mean, on. And then you go back to sounds, go all the way down, and click on vibration. You can click alert, heartbeat, rapid, SOS, and symphony. Or you can create your own vibration by tapping the screen in the order you want the vibration to go by. I just click, I just keep the regular vibration but I guess it's kind of fun to mess around with third of all I don't know if you can see it in here but the on and off switch kind of like a rocker it's changed it's more graphic e kind of shiny like the send button on the text kind of looks like that it's orange it's not it's not squared anymore it's like circular Fourth of all, there's no more iPod app on the iPhone. I don't know if it's just a beta, they have not released it or not, but I have the music and video app on my iPhone. This is weird. This is just a warning before we get to the fifth one. If you have an iPhone and you have not gotten your U UDID activated, do not restore the list early. 
Do not, I repeat, do not. You will not be able to get past the lock screen. You can, because it's like a little hack, like a little glitch that you do. And let's just say it blocks your connection, doesn't allow you to go on 3G, and Safari doesn't work. Where is it? Right there. Sucks. It's basically for iPods. Fifth of all, this is actually one of my favorites. It's called iCloud. See, there's the text right there. So you can click that. It just comes up. And then you can lock it. Oh, it's not there. But that was the text. And iCloud, sorry for the interruption, is on iTunes. I think they're going to get it to work with App Store, but they haven't done it yet. But it's on iTunes right now. What it lets you do on iTunes is so cool. It basically makes it like any other MP3 player. I mean, yeah, they should have done it in the first place, but it's an improvement for them. You can download the song that you purchased before. For, or you could download songs from your iTunes library from your computer. It's amazing. This is Reminders. It's a whole new app. What it does... I haven't really used it yet. Reminders, you can add it. Like, let's say... Hack. Random word. Done. Click on that. Show more. Priority. Looks pretty complicated to me. I, I wouldn't really be messing around with it. But I've seen on other videos. That like on your job. You can say like. You're done with your job at a certain time. And it would like call you. It's pretty cool. I will not be using this app, but it's called Nude Stand. And it's like a little folder thing. And what it does, if you're like subscribed to like the New York Times or something, you can get that subscription on your iPhone. And every day, a new New York Times downloads itself on your iPhone. And you can watch it or whatever you do on your iPhone. Congratulations. One of the last things that I know that's new with this device is called iMessage. Ooh, you're really creative, Apple. You put an i in front of messaging. You're so cool. Well, it actually is really cool. It's like the Blackberry texting where you can see when they receive it and everything. Like, um, send pictures and everything. You can see when they're reading it. And you can, like, add a comment to it and everything. I might as well go ahead and tell you this. It's not really much of an improvement, but if you have a picture in your camera roll, you can up like tweet it or whatever. You would have to um go into the tweet setting and settings. There's actually a Twitter setting. And from the Twitter setting you can install Twitter. It's kinda unique. I find it cool. Wow, I'm stupid. I almost forgot the last, like, attribute that's on here. See? You go into the lock screen, right? You double tap the home button. You can play your music and switch it around, or you can go straight to the camera. And then you can take a picture with the, um, volume up button. See, I don't have any fingers on the screen. Ta-da! Magical, isn't it? iPhone should have done it a long time ago. Apple. But I guess all this is like an improvement to them. They should feel proud. They did a lot. I'm going to post in the description two video links. One to the UDID activation that I got from this guy. It's really cool. 
and the tutorial on how to get this on your iPhone. It, they're both not for me. This is just a little showing of the features. Thank you very much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Remember, iOS 5. Goodbye.